Hey everyone, so it's Sunday. Uh, I guess we'll do the miners versus Bitcoins, how they did for the week, and it doesn't look good. Uh, Bitcoin was down a little bit, but it wasn't down that much, but the miners were down really bad. And it's beginning to uh, um, trump up as a trend that we're seeing here in the last three, four weeks. We'll take a look at it, and we'll see where Bitcoin is right now, and then we'll also take a look at Bitfarms. So thank you, Ben, for posting uh, comments that I was off on my uh, future projections for Bitfarms. I went through all of it, looked at the video that he recommended, made some adjustments, made some fixes where I was wrong. So we'll get into that as well. And as always, not financial advice, you know the drill here. I'm investing in following coins and companies. And let's take a look at Bitcoin right now. So this is a weekly chart in Bitcoin. It is at 39,460. We are about to finish out the weekly uh, candle in red again. So we're going to have four weeks in the red here. We did have obviously two weeks prior to that that were in the green. And last time we had four weeks in the green or in the red it has been a while. We had two weeks here, three here. It's been a long time since we've had four weeks in the red. Last time I can possibly find any here. We had one, two, three, four weeks here. This was back in June of 2020. So it has been a long time since we've had four weeks in a row of red. Um, so we'll have to see how this obviously plays out but it doesn't look good. Last time we did have four weeks, we did actually end up going up. So maybe this is a good sign. Something to keep in mind here. All right, so let's take a look at the miners here, see how they did it for the week. And we'll also take a look at bit farms here in a second. So the miners here, obviously, will go by uh, Bitcoin and we'll do this by the weekly descending first. So Bitcoin was only down 2% on the week. Argo was down 3.37%, DMG was down 6.28%, Hive was down 8 Bitfarms was almost 9%, Digihost was almost 10%, Lexfolio 11%, uh, Hot A was down 11 and 3 quarters, Iris was down 13 and a half, Marathon was down 14 and a half, Bit Digital was down 17, Mimasa was down 17, CleanSpark was down 17 and a half, Core Scientific was down 18 and a half, and Riot was down 20. Riot has been getting clobbered here in the last couple of weeks. I'm not sure why it's getting clobbered either. Uh, but we'll take a look at it here in a little bit. So looking at the chart here on the one week, week, we can see obviously Bitcoin did the best. It was only down 2% where Riot, Core and Clean and Mawson were just down huge. They were, I mean, I'm surprised that they were down this much considering that Bitcoin was only down 2%. I mean, but that's 5x, uh, 5 and 10x more than where Bitcoin was down. So that's obviously not good. So this obviously leads me to believe that a lot of the miners are being oversold, just as some of the high tech stocks in the NASDAQ, that things are being oversold. Now might be a good uh, buying opportunity, obviously not financial advice, do your own research, but it seems like they're just getting clobbered and might be a good entry point if you haven't uh, gotten into it. I have been dollar cost averaging in a little bit into some of these here. Um, on the four week, we can see that had you bought four weeks ago, we'll do this as well, sort of descending. So Bitcoin is down only 14%. We see Digihost down 19.5, Argo is down 19.6, DMG is down 21.7, Hive is down 23.7, Bitfarm is down 24, Luxfolio is down 25, Mawson is down 26, Core is down 26.2, Hut 8 is down 29.9, Iris is down 32.5. Marathon is down 36.4, Bit Digital is down 36.5, CleanSpark is down 37.8, and Riot is down 42.8% on the four weeks uh, chart. So, I mean, obviously, Bitcoin's only down 14% in the four weeks, but like Riot is down, what is that, 3.5x that? Same thing with uh, like CleanSpark is down 3x from there about Bit Digital, Marathon. So these are obviously getting clobbered here, uh, looking at the data that we do have on them. Going to four weeks, we can obviously see that nobody did better than Bitcoin. Everybody is down, and Riot is, again, the worst one out of the bunch here on it. You can see it. Now going to the eight week, we can actually see that we do have at least a little bit of gain on uh, Bitcoin, where Bitcoin was up, and then uh, Mawson and Argo were up a little bit. So Mawson from the eight weeks ago is up 11%, Argo is up 4%, and Bitcoin is up 1.5% from eight weeks ago, which might have been the bottom that we had. And then everything else here is down as well. So Core is down 2.9, Hive is down 9.6, D 
Digihost is down 15. Clean Spark is down 15. Luxfolio is down 16.7. DMG is down 16.7. Bitfarms is down 16.9. Mar Marathon is down 20.5. Ride is down 20.6. Iris is 26. HUD 8 is 26.7. And BitDigital is down 31.3. So, I mean, we're obviously seeing a pattern here where everything is pretty much in the red here. And going to the chart here, we can see Argo, Moss did better than uh, Bitcoin. Everybody else obviously did worse. Uh, Riot was only down, or is only down 20.58% from eight weeks ago. Uh, and then Iris is 26, Hot is 29, or 26.69, and Bitdigital is the worst one out of the bunch here. So let's look down here. So on the chart here, or on the table, we can see that everybody is down for the last three weeks for the most part, for Moss, and Moss had a green week last week. They were up 7.91, but other than that, the last three weeks have been all red for everybody, and then the exception here for Digihost, which was up 1.48% three weeks ago. But everything has just been going red. So we can see that obviously in the chart of Bitcoin, where we've had, you know, one, two, three, four weeks in the red. And we'll see obviously how this transfers over. Looks like we might be starting into a new, yeah. So Bitcoin just finished out the week in red. So we've had four weeks in the red now, which isn't obviously good for us. Um, but we can see here, everything's pretty much in the red. And then after that, we can see the bit digital having four weeks in the red, core being down five weeks in a row. Hive is down four, HUD is down four. Marathon is also down four weeks as well. And Riot is down four weeks as well here. And then we did have some green here in the middle between the eight and four weeks chart where, where things were looking up on Bitcoin. Obviously, we had those two weeks where Bitcoin was going up here. Uh, where was it? Right there. And those are the weeks that obviously gave uh, pretty good gains for some of the miners. But we've obviously come back way down. And I mean, if we look at the price in some of these, I think we are way lower than we were even eight weeks ago on the price. So let's take a look at that. So going eight weeks down, we got one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we would that be right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why am I? Oh yeah, eight. That would be this one right here. So if we look at Argo, Argo was at seventy-seven cents back then. They are at eighty now. Bit Digital was at three thirty-two. They are at two twenty-eight. And Bitcoin back then was also lower in price than it is now. So that's also kind of strange. Clean Spark was at nine nah, $9.33. It is now at $7.92. Core was at $6.46. It is at $6.27. Digi, uh, Digihost was at $3.20. Now it's at $2.72. DMG was at $52. Now it's $43. Hive was at $178. Now $161. Hut was at $5.32. Now it's at $3.90. That's a big drop there. Iris was at $14.42. Now at $10. And there was also a big drop there. Marathon was at 22, 82. Now it's at 18, 15. Uh, let's see here. Mawson was at 334, so Mawson's up a little bit to 373. And then Riot, looking at it here, was at 1498, and it is obviously at 1185. So a big drop there. And Riot was also at 2076, right? There, which was uh, the week of 4 1, another $11.85. So that's almost 50% drop in that. And Bitcoin has not seen a big drop like that. Bitcoin's only dropped. Oh, where's Bitcoin? Bitcoin has went from here from 43, only about what, four, four and a half thousand dollars down. So 10% drop roughly, not a 50% drop. So obviously, these guys are getting really clobbered and uh, oversold, in my opinion, right now. Uh, what else I want to take a look at here? Let's take a look at uh, Riot really quick while we're at it. I want to see how things are shaping up. So you can see here, obviously, they were at $20, probably above $20 a couple weeks ago. And now they've just been getting hammered going down here. And we can see that on some of the other miners as well. But Riot, for some reason, just got beat up the most, it looks like, in the last four weeks. Uh, if anybody has any news as far as why, uh, I'd be happy to hear it. Let me know. Okay. So, like I said, I think the miners right now are just way oversold. Uh, 
based on where Bitcoin has fallen in the last couple of weeks and where these guys have fallen, they are way oversold. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to show you guys here. So the current price on Ride is 1185. I have them at 2243. They are trading at about an 11 multiple or so. I am um, 10 and a half roughly. Yeah, price to earnings multiple of 10 and a half right now. Um, they obviously have a huge way to grow still with only being 34% uh, in operation right now from the future hash rate. So they are way undervalued in my opinion right now. Uh, when they were closer to 20, they were a little bit more well valued, uh, more in line with what I have, but right now they are just way undervalued in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think of that. And then let's get into BitFarm. So I got some corrections for you guys. And thank you again to Ben for pointing this out. So here's what I had for them. I had them at approximately, I think it was six, something that I had them at, um, six, six point, I can't remember now. I'll have to look back at some of my other ones, but it was around six X the hash that I had uh, uh, previously. Ben pointed out to me that an interview, uh, one of their guys from BitFarms was interviewed by, oh geez, I can't remember now. Uh, one of the other guys that does the videos with the miners, I'm drawing a blank right now. And he pointed out that they are gonna be at 7.2 X the hash and they're trying to get to eight and they, they said 7.2 XL hash with the current secured number of miners. So those were all secured. So I started going back through some of my numbers here, trying to get things figured out. Here's some of the mistakes that I made here. I don't know why I made them, but I did. So all of these miners I had set at 80. I think I was looking at the micro M31Ss at that time, what their possible hash rate was. And I got to 80 terahash instead of the, they reported that they're being over 100 terahash. So in order to make my numbers work, I had them at an average of 103 terahash on those miners. Other thing that I missed here was the miners that were announced on 423, which was the 1465, which were the 91 terahash miners. Those I did not have in here as well, so I missed those. A couple other corrections here. I had these numbers wrong for some reason. They were 700 of the Bitmain S19Js, and then they reported they actually bought... Uh, 1,000, 2,000, 1,000, what was it, 1,496, and then 2,000 1,000, part of that. So with all those changes and corrections, we are now correctly reporting that they are at 7.2x that has future hash rate. Uh, the numbers here were also updated as well. Once I started going through all the releases for them, these got updated as well. And then obviously this changed everything over here. So I had to adjust my numbers. So here are the numbers that I had originally for them that they reported each month. So they were 2.3 exahash on January, which is what I have them at now. Uh, had them also at 2.3 in February, which is what they reported. Had, and I have them at, at that now. So I had to get rid of some of the miners that I had in here, update some of them, move them around just to get them to where they should be. And based on what the reported mining was for January, February, and March, we had 11,000 or 11 million 585,000. I have them at 11 million 588, which is really close to what they're reporting. February was 12.87. So actually, I need to get that number up a little bit based on this, uh, which could be just the number of days. Uh, that doesn't somehow work out for me. Could have been lucky, maybe a little bit more lucky on that one. Uh, but I'm still showing only based on what they reported for their hash rate at 28 days is the max you could have them on so we'll have to see how that one plays out but then march we have them at 363 bitcoins mined 16.5 million i have them at 16.3 and these are I could probably jack these up to maybe 25 days 25 days and i think that might get us closer to it right now so 16.3 we have them 16.5 no, that's actually higher. I'm at 16.7. So those would be like 24 days. Let's try that. 24 days, 16.6. 23 days. On average, 16.59. Back to 6. So we can probably go down one more day. 22. 22. And yeah, that gets us pretty close to what they reported. So all of this has been updated. It should be really accurate now. So thank you again to Ben for that. For pointing that out. And... Hopefully we can keep track of this going forward. Uh, 
but it does obviously represent that they can obviously have a much higher uh, stock price right now if we're looking at 286 they are running at approximately a really low multiple of approximately 6 PE right now which I would think they would res uh, you know get a a little bit higher multiple, I would think between 10 and 15 somewhere. So between 513 and 770 is where I would possibly see them because they are going to be at 7.2, possibly 8 exa hash, and they are only about 41% installed right now. So they're going to be getting up there this year, which is going to be good. Um, but yeah, I think this obviously makes them even more undervalued than I thought pro uh, previously based on the 6 exa hash that I have for. And full disclosure, I do have, obviously, I do own shares and bit farms, and I may have to actually start stacking a little bit more because I was going off of the 6x hash instead of 7.2, which is going to be a lot more. So uh, approximately 1.2x hash more based on wh where I had them prior. So I just wanted to point out my mistakes here. Um, thank you so much again to Ben for pointing that out. Like I said before, I'm doing this stuff on my spare time when I have, when I have time. Um, and I could get make mistakes. So I really do rely on you guys to also double check me to make sure that I don't have any mistakes. So anytime you guys provide that for me, greatly appreciate it. So that's all I got for you guys. Obviously, it's gonna be an interesting week to see what happens with Bitcoin with the miners this week. Obviously, we'll see if we end up with a fifth week being in the red, uh, which would not be good. And I'm hoping we get a little bounce here for this week along with the miners, but the miners are just way undersold right now. So are a lot of the stocks on the NASDAQ as well. So, like I said, might be a good buying opportunity, dollar cost average in. Be greedy when others are fearful. Be fearful when others are greedy, right? So, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought of the numbers, obviously. And that's it. I'll see you guys during the week. Have a wonderful night.